Meet Bethany, a freelance photographer who lives and works in her studio apartment in LA with her beautiful but messy kitty Olivia. Her business has taken off, she's grown up a little, and she's finding this space just isn't working for her anymore. The first thing I'm tackling is where Bethany spends the most amount of time, her workspace. This apartment had the good fortune of an extra closet in the living space that was previously framed in a bit to work like a desk. It's got good bones, but it needs an update to suit her modern office needs. The first upgrade was easy. A fresh coat of paint and a raspberry color brightens everything up, and it's a great backdrop for everything else that's going in here. Next up, LED lighting. You've got to see what you're doing. Lighting is key in a workspace. Moving on to storage. Open shelves wrapped in this amazing brass-inspired contact paper make this standard shelving look like a million bucks. The printer now has a home tucked onto the second shelf and up out of the way. Pretty fabric-wrapped boxes hide the less attractive stuff she needs to store, and a pegboard wall keeps some key items at her fingertips. With her landlord's permission, we're gonna paint a wide band of emerald green on the lower half of the space to create a ton of drama and knock down all that overly bright wall space. Always get permission from your landlord before you paint your walls. If you're painting walls, consider a flat paint that's easy to paint over when you leave. Knowing in advance, and budgeting for it, that you're gonna have to repaint your walls if that's what your landlord says. Hey, do yourself a favor. Leave the doors and the trim alone. This color is gonna set the tone for a more grown-up look, especially when we mix in a little brass. Part of what's stressing Bethany out is her lack of key furniture pieces. There was a twin day bed that we kicked to the curb to make room for a gorgeous, full-sized brass bed, which is our inspiration for all the metal tones that run through the space. With a better space plan, there's actually room for a full bed in here, and Bethany's day bed was never actually that comfortable. Here's to a better night's sleep. And who wants to sit on their bed when guests come over? I'm adding a seating area separate from the bed. This smaller sofa in a classic shape and color works amazing as a neutral piece to balance out all that color. For people who live in smaller spaces, flexibility is key. So I'm pairing the sofa with these curvy wood chairs that are easy to move around and add a lightness to the space that upholstery couldn't have. Every bit of space here is precious, so that spot above her new sofa is getting a set of shelves to display Bethany's treasures and a little bit of artwork. I love this trick. To create the feeling of an entryway, I'm using a cool vintage dresser by the door. This was another one of Bethany's big purchases. She can drop her keys and use this space to display some of her favorite things. And then there's the kitchen. Right now, Olivia the cat owns the place. I'm upcycling a media cabinet to hide her litter box and give Olivia a cozy spot where she'll want to hang out. Complete with a cat grass bar, cute cleanup tools, and a cushion on top for lazy afternoon naps, the cat, not Bethany. This corner is going to be way more subtle and functional. Here's another great renter tip. Dress what might be your biggest eyesore in the space. Clean and cover the fridge with removable wallpaper. And this wall is a great spot to display some of Bethany's own art. This standard white studio, complete with a dated kitchen and lots of space planning issues, got a whole new look. A few simple DIY projects, combined with a fresh color palette of emerald green and brass accents, seriously ties all these areas together, 